And so, once your calibration is complete, Calibration, go to test. Test is the third one down. If you do not see a test icon here at the beginning page, your software has become deactivated. The third one down here is the test icon. Then we go up here to Prepare test in the top center. And once again, you'll see that the uh, device had reacted, and then you want to go ahead and press test again. And then you'll see once again that the device is reacting accordingly as the test goes on and the test normally takes about three minutes So make sure your client is completely relaxed and, and the client's hands are not crossed. The hands or feet are not crossed. <clears throat> okay, so after the test, basically we want to load new info. And so I usually just I'm just going to remove this info. Um, you can look at it, get an idea of what's going on. This, is, this contains the voltage, amperage, and resistance, hydration, oxygenation, pH, and cellular vitality, reaction speed, etc. Just to keep things simple, we're just going to remove this at this point, but you should make note of that and um, be aware of what's going on. So from here basically what I do is I go into okay, so what I like to do is first thing is take go up to information and go add to add top remedies to the in, to the information. Okay, and then autofocus zap in three minutes. And then we go to load report. Okay, so we have the report items loaded. So all the items in the various categories, for instance, bacteria, virus, herbs, dental, enzymes, fatty acids, sarcodes, amino acids, imponderables, they will all be loaded in the uh, purple hold tray when you uh, load the items in the hold tray. And so basically what we want to do is So what it's doing now is basically it's addressing all the items in the initial test. And so it doesn't really have to become much more complicated than this. Um, you can do this several times. The device is auto-focusing so that um, the client 
client is never overwhelmed with the electrophysiological feedback. And so this may take some time. Uh, time is uh, something you'll have to judge yourself. Uh, so there is also the turn out device, which uh, has a more of an autopilot uh, software in it. it. Works very similar to the Skio. And you may consider that as well. And you can see this part here is taking almost as long as the test. Because it's addressing all the items that were uh, rating high in stress factors from the test. Okay, so, um, on the categories on the right, you can see that there's several categories. You can go through the several categories and you'll see the list on the left changes. So what you want to do is you want to go through all these categories, keep it simple, look for reoccurring themes. Go through the categories and look for reoccurring themes. And when you see the reoccurring themes, basically you know there's major stress going on on there. And so basically what you might do is down here there's you can see there's two um, categories you can fill in information. Uh, for instance you can put mm, lung or uh, stress issues down here. Both items should be the same. <clears throat> um, so also, what we're going to do is we're going to go top left, pull down menu, and we're going to go to risk profile, load client data. This uh, transfers the information to the next program, basically. And so we see the top items in the red. Take three of the items. Three of the top items. Anything over 100. If the uh, values get skewed, click by value. So we have immune system, circulation, and blood are coming up high. And take these top three, double click. And then you'll see what happens is the items will come up on the top right hand area up here in this uh, field. Normally you can just take three, keep it simple. Sometimes I'll add more, it's up to you. And then here near the top um, field, we Click the T key or the stress key and get some electrophysiological therapeutics. And so after this, basically what I'll do is, for instance, on the top here, we have the oriental herbs. And so I'll look through and see which ones are reacting high. 
this one is containing an anti-asthmatic and we click it there and then down here on the bottom you can see that goes into this tray down here or this field and we want to key and test items in the hold tray and then you can also add make a report I usually make reports on every page I go to if it's um, convenient and basically I'll go down all these categories and do uh, what is necessary for all these categories and so the next category we're going to go into mainly is the therapy page the therapy page as you can see has many things that we can do here. Um, the items here on the top that are in color, this one is suggesting a DNA, DNA treatment or DNA stress reduction. And then all these items here, for instance, the auto meridian, allergy panel, scalar auto, out of the ground in any auto kind of frequency tri vector color therapy. Welcome to the Valley I go to through the all these and that is very if powerful. You look at the first sentence, there are maybe 200 people. Then the oil boom hit and this place exploded. We had thousands of people pouring into the oil region. And, and so the other one is, of course, the virtual DR. I go into that. And that will come up with more suggestions. We used it for the transportation. We used it so for the business. Virtual DR is very similar to what the risk profile does. It's going to condense the items that came up of concern and bring them into another single panel again. And then you can uh, do electrophysiological therapy from there. And I'm going through this rather rapidly. You can take your time and do whatever works for you. The main thing is coaching the client for improvement. This is the main thing. I always like to ask the client, how would their life change if the stress was gone? And we'll allow them to think about it. Ask open-ended questions. Do reflective listening and coaching. So here we can go into many things, uh, entangled areas, uh, connections to the spine, uh, connection in DNA, emotional ENLP, homotoxicology, uh, organs, etc. So we can go into a lot of things here. Uh, and um, I always make a report from here as well. And so, okay, so let's go, let's go into NLP. I think that the NLP is important. And basically what I like to do is unconscious reactivity. And then what I'll do is I'll set the age to at least like 25. And that allows us to search of the subconscious for any traumas that have happened up to the age of 25 or however old your client is. And brings the issue to the uh, conscious mind. And so basically, I'm not going to do it right now, but that's basically where we go. Do that. How they view rich traditions established here in Titusville. And so the other one is, of course, the brain scan. The brain scan is a uh, brain scan for nutrition. The thing about this program is that basically it's going to give you a lot more information about the psychological conflicts that are concerning and we also have the C scan from here. So we go into the C scan and what we'll do is we'll be able to find out some psychological concerns that are causing stress in the body related to certain 
um, stress patterns in the body. Now this can take a while, and you you will see that up here we we're going to be loading. This is going to this panel right here is going to be loading, and it's not loading yet. It's working, and the Skio's working box is not actually in front of the panel, but it is working, and it will load up. It takes a while to load up because it's gathering a lot of information. And so basically what we want to do is we want to uh, do click result of scan top left. And then you can see on this bottom panel down here that there is some psychological information uh, and is well related, related to uh, any physiological stress in the body. And so here you can use your imagination. Uh, there is a therapy button here. You can press that and go from there. I believe this panel is very pow powerful. And this program will basically run until you turn it off. Uh, from my experience. So, I'm going to go ahead and close this. And so, there are several buttons here you can go through. And this is the mental emotional chart. And what we want to do is we can click uh, test emotions and face stabilization, um, covert thought patterns are good, uh, make chart of emotions, uh, click value of emotions, click value of neurotransmitters, and you can see which items are coming up high. Okay, here's the covert thought pattern. I'm, I'm getting a little uh, sort of deep in this. I wanted to keep it simple, but it's uh, basically here we just go, we just click step through the steps. Excellent. And then what we'll do is as we come into a step and it says observant and apathy or whatever the emotion is, the uh, covert thought pattern, we just click on it uh, and it'll come down here down to the area down here and then we uh, we just click on it from down here and then it will give you the electrophysiological therapy and so I'm going through this rather fast you can get a lot done on the first matrix page you don't have to um, use my example uh, there, there can be a, a lot done just simply in in coaching and the sock index. Um, you can add more questions to the sock index and, and gather a lot of information. And so basically, what we're trying to do is bring up some of the stress patterns into the client's subconscious mind to allow the client to um, take control of the unconscious stress factors. Okay, so we're going to close out of this. Um, the other one is, of course, the homotoxicology. 
These are related to the environmental toxins. Info click to exchange info into the program. And then we're going to go to Xenobiotics. And you'll see that here we have the top environmental factors. Uh, for instance, on this one, uh, mental retention of toxins comes up high. And we just click the uh, de-stress button up here at the top. And then, so that's your homotoxicology program. It's very powerful as well. Um, we also, from here, we have the uh, homeopathy and nutrition. And so, uh, just go through these pages and sort of feel these buttons out and see what they do for yourself. Um, Basically, for instance, this one says calculate to, to, uh, to uh, get the results. And you'll see as we calculate, the numbers will come up here on the left. Vitamin U family, CoQ10 comes up high and uh, may need some de-stress from that. Minerals are coming up high as well, amino acids, oriental herbs are coming up high. So. Yeah, just go through these, click on just buttons you're curious about. Of course, when you're working with a client, you want to sort of keep them things simple. If you get too lost in the program and not not interested in the client's needs, then then you're sort of getting off track. Again, use reflective listening. Um, and coaching. Okay, so that's a very simple idea on how to use the program. And then so we see the alarm reaction going here. When you see the alarm reaction going, I would advise not to use any more electrophysiological therapy. Coach the client, see if you can get this to go back down. One way to after you've taken a minute, get, maybe give the client a drink of water. Um, after you've done that, you can close down the test matrix panel. And that may bring the uh, reaction down. And we can go back up to test. If we see the, if we see the alarm reaction still here, then I would advise not going any further. Okay, so here we have the end of the, we're ending the program. Make sure that you advise the client that you're ending the program, that you think whatever, they've had enough, and that the session is ending. Uh, although the effects of the electrophysiological therapy may continue throughout the day subtly, and or maybe for the next three days. Um, as I noticed when I first uh, had my first therapy. Okay, so basically what we'll find is there may be some items here that need to be rectified. So basically we just click rectify all and that's going to end the quick therapy um, that I just told you about. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can contact me at health, health savers, the number four and the letter U, at gmail.com. Um, I also buy and sell used equipment and do laptop repairs. And then we just close out from here. And close out from here. Make sure to reset the box for the next client. Once again, thanks for watching. If you need any help, you can contact me, 707-445-1591.